What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, we are back here at Crypto Caverns Mining Farm in upstate New York. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of their GPU hosted mining rigs. So let's dive into today's video. guys so i am here with phil who's the cio at crypto caverns how's it going phil going well how you doing awesome so tell us what we're looking at here what can people expect from uh the gpu hosting side of things with crypto caverns uh so if you get one of our units shipped to you yep. uh this is you know i'm trying to think of something nice to say about a, a metal box but uh, <laughs> it is a little interesting here um we've got your cards will go into these slots um on either side of mm -hmm. this what look it looks like a gpu itself but is actually the motherboard. Wow. Um, it's got the RAM CPU on here, uh, slot for M2, uh, SATA as well. You just put power on the little uh, uh, six pin connector on the end. Um, we've got it blocked by some uh, 5700 XTs that we're about to put in here too, but yeah. um, your network and uh, USB are on the back. Um, so we got our power supply here. So what, what type of size power supply are we looking at with uh, these rigs? It's a 3300 watt power supply. Got it. So we got a massive 3300 uh, watt power supply in the rigs here. And then it looks like the way the case is designed is your intake sitting over here on the cold aisle. So it's sucking our air through, right? And these look probably somewhere around 3000 RPM fans that you guys have in here, yeah. uh, which is nice. And the riserless style is really, really convenient, especially as a home miner or with you guys that you guys have these set up here. So these very much seem like they're designed designed for uh, quick maintenance, easy to use, and high airflow. Yeah, uh, does that sound so. accurate? Okay, Absolutely. very cool. I like it. So the riserless is really nice. We have that there. Uh, our, we're going to install these cards. And what are these cards here that we're looking at today? Uh, these are XFX 5700 XTs. Ooh, I like these. Fancy, fancy. We'll show it here. Look at that. I like it. Well, these are nice. These are great. Uh, and uh, what do you guys traditionally, I mean, I know we're just after the merge and, and rigs are down, uh, but what would you guys traditionally put these on outside of ETH? Would it be something like Ravencoin or Flux or Ergo? What have you guys played with? You know? uh, yeah, so we're, we're playing with all three of those, actually. Okay. Um, they, they've uh, uh, been performing differently. Um, so far, my personal favorite, I think, has been Ergo. I, I know you're a fan of Flux as well. I, a, I love them all, but yes, a, I do a, love my Flux. That's a, that's a pretty good one as well. Yes, um, yes. Yeah, if, uh, uh, Ergo was just really easy to uh, integrate okay. on our back end. Yeah, developmental-wise, okay. um, they've got a lot of great uh, documentation mm -hmm. uh, on their website. Uh, uh, new Docker, Docker container, yeah. uh, really easy to set up. Yeah, I mean, Ergo's definitely one where it's an easy move for power. And even with your overclocks, I've seen some people just get lazy and run Ethereum overclocks mm -hmm. uh, on Ergo just to get up and running as quick as possible uh, during everything swapping over. Um, so we have the rig here, we have our hardware here. So let's go ahead and we're gonna jump into installing our GPUs. All right, Phil, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install some GPUs here. And in the meantime, I'd love to you to share with us, um, you know, how many people do you have at the farm uh, day to day working on the farm? So we have uh, one, maintenance per uh, one maintenance person that uh, generally spends most of his time uh, opening these things up, okay. um, taking the shrouds off, cleaning everything, mm -hmm. um, putting it all back together. Um, pretty routine stuff. Uh, of course, there's all the uh, monitoring, uh, making sure the hash rates are up, mm. uh, seeing if any cards are starting to you know go bad. Maybe it's got one uh, dead fin on there. It's running a little hot. You know, okay. um, you know, come by and check it out. What about, um, do you guys run these uh, fans on the GPUs or do you take them off because of the way the case is designed? How do you guys traditionally do that? Uh, that depends on the card. Okay, interesting. All right, I like it. That sounds good. So um, is it common for you guys to run into, like as a home miner, we run into issues a lot with like GPUs that go bad. Uh, just something happens with them. Do you guys have a lot of that here or doesn't doesn't happen as often? 
Uh, I mean, GPUs go bad all the time, you know? Oh, uh, come on now. <laughs> yep. Um, and uh, certainly, you know, we're not running uh, any any super special GPUs here. Yeah. It's the same same that everybody else is getting. Yep. Uh, certainly being kept in a nice uniform environment, um, carefully monitored and maintained does help them last a little bit longer. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe run a little bit faster as well. Um, then maybe a suboptimal uh, home setup, but um, so yeah, so in addition to that, uh, with your setup here, do you guys try to standardize a lot of the GPUs that you guys go with, or do you have a variety of cards uh, in this facility? Uh, well, we'll use all the same GPUs uh, within a case. Um, you know, we're, we're certainly hosting uh, various customer equipment. Okay. Um, you know, we've got the P106s right now, a mm -hmm. lot of them in there. Um, you know, we're moving to newer stock as well, but. Well, I currently have uh, 580s here with you guys here at Crypto Caverns. I really love those. They run really well and I enjoy running those. Uh, what cards do you guys see coming down the pipeline for Crypto Caverns to run in your facility? Um, it's probably gonna be these newer generation 30 series cards. Okay. Um, they're already starting to hit just the tip of profitability here post awesome. after the merge, which you know you would expect mm -hmm. uh, being more efficient than most anything else on the market. Um, we don't think we're probably going to be running running the uh, 4000 series anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be running the 4000 series anytime soon. Um, definitely based off of just that that power consumption, which is a big one. It makes them really unprofitable. And I think their price point is just through the roof right now. Yeah. All righty. So um, how do you guys manage all these rigs? Because you guys have boatloads, hundreds of them here. So do you guys use like simple mining or are you a window shop? What works best for uh, you guys? Hive OS. All right, Phil. So we have installed our 85700s. They do look really good. I'm really happy with it. Uh, not my best job. Some of the slots were a little challenging, but it worked out well. So with these 85700s, if I was going to mine right now today, what should I mine? Well, uh, I don't think anything right now is super profitable. Oh, but, uh, all right. Even if your power rates is uh, yeah. ours. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is uh, not too fortunate, but uh, yep. hopefully a very temporary situation. Um, there's a lot of great projects out there if yeah. you're looking to spec mine. Yeah. Um, you know, there's uh, certainly, uh, as we were talking about, Flux and Ergo. Yes. Um, yes. And uh, many others. I just stumbled on one, uh, Lefium, but uh, oh, yeah, not, yeah. not really had a chance to dig into that fully. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah. Um, I mean, as soon as um, hash, rate and or hash rates and difficulties mm -hmm. come down a little bit. Um, It'll be back right, up and running, huh? Right there. I like it, cool. So let's get the lid on and do a quick tour of the outside of the case. Well, miners, that is going to wrap up this video of our five-part series here at Crypto Cavern. So what's next? Well, in our next video, we're going to sit down with the CEO, Rufus, of Crypto Caverns and talk shop. We're going to talk about the merge. We're going to talk about diversification when it comes down to your mining portfolios. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.